If you're looking to buy any ultimate team coins, check out fifacoinzone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. I'm actually giving away a £50 PSN or Xbox gift card over on my Twitter. So click the link in the description to go to my Twitter. And you just need to retweet the tweet and follow. The winner will be now in probably about a week. It's an early Christmas present and another thank you for 40,000 subscribers. Hey guys, Ice Carry here and we have the first of all of the Fatmas content coming to FIFA 17. And we have a lot of content this year. So if you load on to Ultimate Team, you will actually receive this Fatmas kit. And you'll get this loading screen basically saying... For a limited time, we'll have new content on Ultimate Team with squad builder challenges, unique themed content, limited pack offers, daily rewards on the Companion app, web app, and much, much more. So if we actually take a look onto Ultimate Team now, you can see that we have three Fatma squad builder challenges. And these challenges right here have their own section. And EA, I reckon, will do a new one every single day. So at the moment, we have De Rossi, Ruffier, and Parolo. And these challenges actually relate to the date. So if you didn't know, today is the 16th of December. And if you look, all of these players and on all of their player cards have the number 16. So I am thinking every day up until Christmas or up until maybe the end of the month, we'll have a squad builder challenge for a player with their number, which is the date of the month. So 16th will be players with number 16, 17th will be players with a 17, so on and so forth. Sadly, we've already missed out on a possible Ronaldo, but I wouldn't really see that coming. But get your hopes up. Drop in the comment section down below what good players we could actually see through this and their player number. It'd be pretty cool to see a lot more squad builder challenge players as well. And another thing, with these squad builder challenges, they are using old cards. As you can see here, this first one requires four players either from the team of the week or Movember. So this is challenge right here is using the Movember cards. They have actually all risen up in price as well. And I'm going to guess that probably tomorrow or maybe later on, they will use the Scream cards. Because if you don't know, if you actually search special cards on the market on Ultimate Team, literally the amount of random like junk cards you see with like the Movember cards here, you could probably see some Scream cards right here as well. And those two cards aren't really being used anymore. So I reckon EA will probably filter those out and involve them in squad builder challenges. The Movember cards have already risen up quite a lot as well. If we take a look at Movember card Ledley, he used to be going for near his minimum. But if you look now, he's going for near like over 20,000 coins, near 30,000 coins. He's risen up at over 10,000 coins already. And this is only from the first day of the challenges. So the other challenges don't actually require these cards. They just require some informs. And I'm saying this now, don't go out and rush and do these challenges. This is like the start of the content. Unless you really badly want one of these players for your squad, do it. But I reckon it's a waste of coins so far. Unless you have so many coins, it doesn't matter to you. Because look, as you can see here, three Team of the Week players for this Parolo. If you're going to be doing this for free squad builder challenges every single day, it's going to cost you a load of coins. And to be honest, I would probably save up maybe until there's a bigger squad builder challenge or a better player in there. But it's a good thing for little investments. You might want to pick up, well, the Movember cards have already risen up quite a bit now. But you might want to pick up a couple screen cards just because they could rise up in price as well. If I actually had my main account, I could do some Squad Builder Challenge completion videos. If you actually want me to still do the completion, but I would just fill it with concept cards, make sure to drop a comment down below because to be honest, I'm not too sure if you guys would enjoy a video like that. I guess I'd show you the squad, but I wouldn't actually be completing it myself. It would just be with concept players. I don't really think that's as good as a video. But there's these three cards there. If you want to pick them up, go for it. But I'm going to save because the date 17th tomorrow, Plays with the number 17, we could be seeing somebody nicely. So there are also special packs on the store. They'll basically do some lightning rounds later on, nearer to Christmas. If you actually have a look in the store right now, if you have a look at gold packs, look, we have Butmus themed pack, 15k pack. The actual pack design looks really, really nice to be honest. And we have pro wear packs, 45k packs as well. And these, this only expires in four hours. So we'll probably see some more packs tonight. Some, and there'll be some more packs probably over the weekend as well. This is the content on the console. I might do a separate video if you want me to go through the daily gifts and going on to the web app. But that's quite simple and I could do it later today anyway. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's basically just an update telling you guys what's happening with Fatmas. A couple of possible investments where you can make some profit from this. I would say pick up just like one or two screen cards if they're going for their minimum. The Movember cards have already risen up quite a bit. But the screen cards, people have sort of put them all the way out of the site and they might actually be used and it could be some team of the tournament cards as well because they do go out of packs today but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you on my next video